Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be back at the Fancy Farm Picnic, a tradition like none other. You know, I remember my first time on this stage as a candidate for Commissioner of Agriculture back in 2011. That year, as far as the down ballot races went, all the talk among the media in the front row was about the three impressive next generation leaders of the Democrat Party on the stage. The liberal Louisville media even said those three would be regulars on the big stage at Fancy Farm for years to come. Those three Democrats were Jack Conway, Adam Eadland, and Allison Lundergan Grimes. I'm pretty sure we'll never see them here again. Their winning record in elections over the past eight years was worse than the Cleveland Browns. The first problem Kentucky Democrats have is their party's leadership. I want to pose a question to my friends on this side of the stage. Can you all name one, just one, state or federal elected Democrat you would bring here to West Kentucky to campaign with you? No. Second question, can you name just one, just one of the 20 Democrat candidates running for president who you would endorse before the election in November? No, that's a problem. The next problem the Kentucky Democrats have is their party's liberal agenda. Democrats are for open borders. Republicans want to secure the border. Democrats are for free health care for illegals. Republicans oppose welfare for illegals. Democrats turn a blind eye to China on trade. Republicans are standing up to China and bringing jobs back to America. Democrats want socialism. Republicans support capitalism. And here's the big one. Here's the big one. Democrats really think the Mueller report was bad for Republicans. But we Republicans know the Mueller report, it was really bad for Democrats. Three years ago, when I got to Washington, I thought Nancy Pelosi was an embarrassment to the Democrat Party. Today, with the squad and all the new socialist Democrats in Washington, I can honestly say Nancy Pelosi's the best they got. I've been in Western Kentucky since Monday morning, visiting constituents and meeting with business owners. The biggest complaint my constituents have are all the welfare programs. And the biggest complaint my job creators have is finding workers. That's why I worked hard to try to pass legislation which put work requirements on able-bodied adults. Unfortunately, the Democrats in Washington killed it because they said it was racist and offensive. Well, I'm about to offend the handful of true blue Democrats left in my di district by saying this fact. If you are not an illegal alien, an able-bodied welfare recipient, or a man who wants to use the girls' bathroom, then the Democrats in Washington aren't working for you. Now, I know Kentucky well. My congressional district encompasses one-third of the Commonwealth. It's central Kentucky, southern Kentucky, and right here in west Kentucky. The average person in my district works hard, goes to church on Sunday, spends a lot of time with their family, is active in their community, and is proud of the United States of America. We say a prayer at night, and we stand with our hands on our hearts when we hear the national anthem and when we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. That, that's the average person in this congressional district, and that's why my congressional district is rated solid Republican. I want to thank the good people of Kentucky for allowing me to be your voice in Washington. I will continue to fight for a balanced budget amendment, 
I will continue to support a pro-business legislative agenda. I will continue to share our conservative values. And I will continue to work closely with our great President of the United States, Donald Trump, to keep America great. Thank you, and may God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky.